to the first edition of the most important news program there is. That's right, it's Ask Money Anything, the program where I answer your questions. But Moni M, that, that's my imitation of you. But Moni M, that doesn't sound like a news program. Eh. Well, if it involves me, it is news. This is the show where you get to ask any question of me, Moni M, the most important panda since Ling Ling. Rest in peace. Unfortunately, the only way the board of directors would let me have the budget for this show is if I agreed to put ads in it. The worst part is they put President Dunderhead Ryan Magnin in charge of introducing them. So without further ado, take it away, Dunderhead! Moni, you're ruining the segue I worked on for ah, over two that, weeks. That, 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 don't matter, that don't matter. There was nothing about segues in the contract. Ah, I knew I forgot something. That's right, Moni M. They are fun-tastic. And that's because we think kids like you deserve better than reboots of the same old crusty superheroes. So, we're bringing you the new heroes of Alternation. G.K. Delta are part animal, part human soldiers who uncover the paranormal mysteries that you and I are not allowed to know about. However, our heroes themselves don't know that they're being lied to about their origin by nefarious powers within the government. What happens when they find out they were created in a secret military lab experiment? Woo! Each alternation action figure is fully articulated and has a unique special feature inspired by real animal abilities. Check it out! Our agents searched the world for human-animal hybrids. We raised and trained them to be the covert strike team, GK Delta. They use their abilities to protect humanity from menaces like the cybernetic soldier Sabotage. Alternation, available at Amazon, each sold separately. But wait, there's more! You can join the Alternation Fan Club. It's free. Just mail us the form on the website, alternation.toys slash club. Back to you, Moni M. Yeah, 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 yeah. How about this? Buy those toys or else I'll personally hold you responsible for getting this show canceled. And then you'll never get the answer to any of the important questions, like this one, from James, also known as Kinetic Clops. James has great taste in toys, which, of course, is how he found Alternation. He's done some great reviews of our toys and other toys on his YouTube channel. There's a link in the description. Check it out. Yeah. James wrote to me from Ontario. No, not the one in California. The one where they use the metric system, huh? That's right, Ontario, Canada. He asks, Moni, on your YouTube channel, could you talk about my idea for a toy line called Insane Squad! Of course, my answer to James was, No! Not because I'm jealous. Not because we're afraid that cartoon rat will steal his idea. No, I'm not going to talk about it because we invited James to talk about his creative and fun idea himself. Welcome, James from Canada. Hello, Moni. Thank you for me having here, and I'm very excited to tell you my yes, line. Yes, James, we will get to Insane Squad, but first I do have to ask you how excited you feel to meet me, Moni M, the most famous toy-making panda there is. I, I feel pretty amazing, I mean, I'm like talking to a c celebrity or something. It is amazing. They don't get much bigger than me, even though I'm roughly three feet tall. Speaking of amazing, let's hear about your idea for a toy line. Well, Insane Squad is very insane. Get it? As insane as the deals I'm offering on Alternation she Action Cut figures. his feed! Cut him, cut him off! James, you were telling us about Insane Squad. So, here we go. So, it takes place on Cyber City, and it's on Earth. It's not like a different planet, it's mostly on Earth. And, um, Insane Squad, they protect Cyber City from the kill-offs. The kill-offs want to take over Cyber City, and so they can become the king of Cyber City, and every people who lives in Cyber City will become their slaves. So let's see, the bad guys want to be kings and turn the whole population into slaves. Now, would you be interested in renaming the bad guys something like, I don't know, Mazni or 
Disnatel? No, kill off. Not okay, kill. okay, okay, fine. We'll put a pin in that idea and come back to it later. What's the world of Insane Squad like? So, it takes place in the future. It takes place on um, 2077. And the city has become all technology. And Cyber City is just basically New York City. But since technology has become better and better and better... They replaced tech, they replaced New York with cyber, and it came it, it became Cyber City. So how's the technology different and better? Well, the TVs are more advanced, and computers are more advanced, and the robots are more advanced. Everything is advanced, and the cities have became more advanced. Everything has be, became advanced. This sounds like an entirely plausible future. Those tech companies are upgrading software faster than people can give away their personal info, am I right? By the way, did you want to subscribe to our mailing list, James? Uh, no, I'm okay, but I did want to tell you this We're one thing. We're talking about Insane Squad. Go away, Ryan. James, please tell our millions of viewers more about the Insane Squad team. So the good side, Insane Squad, um, there are the three main characters. There's Skullpain, Skullpain the leader. And demonic boy and mantor uh mantor he's like he makes like machines and all that he created this gun and he calls it like the multi gun and every time they shoot it they go through multiverses and they meet a bunch of people dude what if the multiverse were real then he could come into our universe if us imagine if they come in our multiverse and they knew about that they were action figures dude i'd still launch him now, what about those bad guys whose team name isn't final yet? Oh, the bad guys, the leader, the evil Cybone himself, and Prisoner 21, and Drillin' Trollin'. And there was one particular bad guy I really liked, Stretch Crow. Stretch Crow is actually a scarecrow, but with an alien chip robot device on his shoulder, and uh, he's been, and plus, he's programmed to kidnap people with his cybernetic hand that could stretch it's kind of like a spring-loaded hand it goes like and like that and um uh and then he kidnaps people and all that and he's he's got a pumpkin for a head and he's got a cowboy hat and so he's a scarecrow that's like controlled by aliens total freak was another character we talked a lot about before the show is he a bad guy too so total freak is actually a good guy and He's kind of like an animatronic. Um, his wires are everywhere. He's kind of like a snake. Um, he's got like one hand that's like a claw, and his uh, he, his head is like a skull. And one of his eyeballs are out, and they're at, it's actually his little friend he could talk to. Like, hey, what, what you doing? Oh, I'm just I'm doing what you're doing. Oh, and yeah, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. We had so much fun talking about these characters that we decided to draw them. Yep, yeah. I drew Total Freak. And I drew Stretch Crow. James, these are really original, fun, neat-looking, imaginative characters. You've got more creativity and imagination in your little pinky toe than those giant kids' entertainment companies have in their whole billion-dollar budget. Now, as a creative genius, I find that a question I get asked a lot, which I'll also ask you, is where do you get your ideas? Well, um, back in 2017, um, I had a dream with the three of these characters. One of them was a skeleton, one of them was an alien praying mantis guy, and one of them was a demon. And so, in school morning, when I was getting ready, um... We were at, like, a rental house because that's when our house burned down. Now, I should mention, kids don't need their houses to burn down to get good ideas. And we got a new house now. Right! Um, so I draw these characters with my markers. This was the time that I was learning how to draw, well, learning how to draw more better. And so that's how Insane Squad was born. Three of the first main characters, um, that's how they were born. What's next for Insane Squad, James? I'm trying to know how to 3D print, including my dad. Um, we've been printing some stuff. We've been, like, uh, printing, like, these little action figures and a boat and all that. And we've been printing this little spider. I guess I could try and show you him. Um, his name is Spido. We like to call him Spido. He's, like, a little blue spider. And, um... Yeah, so, yeah, usually he does this. I don't know if you can really see it, but 
Yeah, he's a pretty cool little guy we made. You're a rad kid, James. I like your tenacity. You've got drive. You've got ambition. You're going to go far, kid. I bet you've already finished raising funds for tooling, quality assurance, safety testing, trademark filing, marketing, and hired an entire sales team. Am I right? Well, okay. Well, it's still not completed yet. Well, I got it complete, but... I'm just messing with you, James. Never lose your imagination. Kids like you can make your dreams happen by making a plan and working at it a little bit every day. Thanks for being on, James. Thank you, Moni, uh, for me having here, and I'm a huge fan of your... Or, hold up. There we go. I'm your. I'm a huge fan of your alternation line. The, these figures are just amazing, and they're very articulated. Uh, this tail is pretty amazing. Minute, that sounds and, like um, another commercial. Ryan, did you put him up to this? To don't don't be rude. You're you're yeah. interrupting. It's just gonna be amazing. So thank you, Moni. We had a lot of fun with James today, and we'd like to hear from you too. Send your emails to Moni M at pandamoni.toys. That's not a dot com. That's a dot toys. We're a toy company. We don't sell dots or coms. Until next time, keep thinking up questions for me and mailing them.